people in northern Maine, people in like Detroit, where there's, I mean, Austin, Texas, you know, the cities where the riots go on. Those are the people that are going to look. And if they're a conservative voter, they're going to be afraid because they see everything devolving into madness. They see the problems. And I don't, I don't obviously voting for a Democrat when all these rioters are Democratic kind of seems like yeah, a bad idea. These people in Northern Maine, they see it on the news. They see the sure. social, they, they see, they see the social. But our communities pushback. are fine. Our, our communities yeah, are our fine. Communities are, it's not like we've I had think, any riots. I think you'll find though that someone watching on the news, the, oh, there's, you know, this place was destroyed by rioters. This Wendy's was blown up. Even though it doesn't affect us, people still see it exists. And I think I'm, you'll find that there there are going to be a lot of people that voted for him in 2016. I'm sure there's going to be people that vote for Biden out of fear and out of desire for things to kind of stabilize, maybe. Right. But that's not the case. That's never going to be the case. If you have a problem and you have someone who's trying to fight that problem, but when he fights the problem, it gets the problem kind of a little, you, you notice it more, mm. you know? Uh, just choosing to look away from the problem, vote for Biden because, right. you know, they're going to settle down. It's just letting it build worse in the background, getting us farther and farther and farther and farther from being a true America anymore. We're losing, we're losing our rights that have been clearly set out in the constitution. Our, the gun rights are so stupid. If you ever like uh, look into California, California, what what is it? Um, California compliant firearms. If you want a clear violation of the second amendment, California compliant firearms are the stupidest things. The stupidest rules our freedom of speech, uh, the social media. And, and this is something that's coming out now that I don't know where it is at now, but I know last week um, it, it was starting to become a bigger story that uh, social media was tampering with what was showing up. And that was actual news at that point. It wasn't just something that people were oh, questioning or aware story. of. It was actual news right. at that point. I think we're going to find, and I know this for a fact, a lot of conservatives, a lot of people that vote for Republicans tend to be older. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of these older people who, okay, for instance, I went to Portland last night and I was in a Longhorns and there were these younger, this guy, he must've been in his thirties and he comes in and they're like, oh, you got to wear a mask. And he's like, oh, this goddamn fake Trump COVID, you know, whatever, Trump 2024 more, you know, he was going on and on and on. But, you know, he's younger, right? A majority of conservative voters tend to be older. And you see these people. Well, you know, like they, Gen they watch, Zers, I think, are a lot of, or, or not Gen Z. I mean, like uh, millennials. I think millennials are very, very, very democratic. What I was saying, though, is older people, like I'm talking 60s, 70s, and 80s, they've watched the same news station for 35 years. They're only getting fed the bad stuff that CNN is pushing out or, you know, these news cycles. You know, they're older. They've lived their life. They don't want to see America in dis in in in, um, in such terrible conditions. So they might say, I, you know, I, I would rather vote for, you know, someone who is going to put the normalcy back in place. Right. And I would hate to see it. But, you don't. I mean, I haven't really met too many older people like I'm talking in their 70s or 80s that are like all into this internet stuff. It's like, oh, it's the China virus. Or, you know what I mean? Like, right. They may, but there aren't that many there's, people. There's like, exceptions to any rule, but generally speaking, I mean, I think a lot of the older people that are pro-Trump are going to be kind of out of, in, right. uh, they're not going to be in all of it. They're not going to be on the internet as much. They're not going to. Yeah, they're not going to they be can, on the if internet. If they even know how to run a computer to get to the internet.